Prince Harry has claimed he was treated in an unlawful and unfair manner when stripped of his taxpayer-funded security after he chose to quit the royal family. Lawyers acting for the Duke of Sussex told the High Court the impact of a successful attack on the prince should have been considered as part of a decision to change his security arrangements in the UK. Harry's legal team also argued there would likely be significant public upset if he were the subject of a personal attack, even drawing comparisons with the tragic death in 1997 of his mother Princess Diana, who died in a car crash in a Paris tunnel. The Duke has brought legal action against the Home Office over the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Rivec, with a three-day hearing which began on Tuesday. The government is opposing Harry's case, saying he is treated in a bespoke manner with his security provision considered by Rivek in appropriate circumstances. Shahid Fatima KC, for Harry, told an initial public part of proceedings, this case is about the right to safety and security of a person. There could not be a right of greater importance to any of us. She said a failure to carry out a risk analysis by the Home Office showed the unlawful and unfair treatment of Harry. Sir James E.D. KC, for the Home Office said, Rivek was aware of the wider impact following the tragic death of the claimant's mother, and this was also a matter referenced by the royal household. He added that there would likely be significant public upset if there was a successful attack on Harry. A large part of the hearing in London is said to be held in private, without the press or public present, due to confidential evidence over security measures being involved in the case. Miss Fatima said Rivek had chosen a far inferior procedure has been followed claiming it was the first time that Rivek has ever decided to deviate from this policy in this way. Rivek has delegated responsibility from the Home Office over the provision of protective security arrangements for members of the royal family and others, with involvement from the Metropolitan Police, the Cabinet Office and the Royal Household. Ms. Fatima said the case, by, case security provision for the Duke of Sussex who announced he and his wife were stepping back as senior royals in January 2020, leads to excessive uncertainty. She continued, the purpose of security is to mitigate the risk of a successful attack. Harry's lawyers have argued he should have security provided to him for life, due to his association with the royal family, being a son of the king and having served in the armed forces. Sir James EDKC, for the Home Office, said the Duke had been treated in a lawful, bespoke manner over his security and all risk factors to Harry had been considered. Sir James said there are finite public resources for state provided protective security and that it was for Rivek to decide who it took responsibility for. He continued, as a result of the fact that he would no longer be a working member of the royal family, and would be living abroad for the majority of the time, his position had materially changed. The hearing before Mr. Justice Lane is due to conclude on Thursday, with a ruling expected at a later date.